I, I think one of the things that gives me confidence about Whitworth's future is just our momentum, you know? I mean, we're in such a good place, we've been in such a good place, and there's energy behind that, you know? And there's um, a desire to continue to move forward in that vein. It's not like we're coming to the end of something. I think we're coming to the end of Bill's presidency. I think we are just getting started in other ways. We've got a great uh, leadership team. So a new president can come into the Whitworth environment and have great operations from day one. This is a, a college ready to move. We're recruiting some terrific new faculty who get the mission and are really ready to put it on their shoulders and carry it into the next generation. I think that's going to serve Whitworth very well in the next decades um, as we go on uh, under new leadership. Our stories, Whitworth stories and Spokane stories um, of the future will be written together. There's a link there that will not be broken. The strength of the institution is this sense of permanence almost about its mission and identity that I think those of us who work here expect to go on. There's now a sense of community that has been formed um, that I think will carry on because of people taking ownership themselves. And so I'm confident that, that 20 years from now, 40 years from now, we'll still be producing that same thoughtful, uh, intelligent, caring student who has a heart for the world. But there are so many people who love, support, nurture that mission that it will keep going, Wh whoever is sitting in the president's office. He didn't do it in a clever marketing kind of way where we've got to have an elevator slogan. It just happened, and it's there, and it's deep, and it will last. I think graduation day is gonna be a very special day for a lot of us. Um, special for Bill, because it's his last time, and special for us because we know um, that we're the last class to receive diplomas from him. And really what an honor that is, um, that we get to share in his last moments on that stage. On a Tuesday night in 1993, I made up my mind not to take this position. The next day, before I had contacted Whitworth Search Committee, God graciously opened my eyes through a friend who convinced me to take one more look. I believe God's grace brought me here, and I believe God's grace will bring us our next president. My highest hope for Whitworth is for us to be faithful to God's calling. It is true, we have to be smart and we have to be strategic. But above all, we have to be faithful to God and to this mission we have been given. In this, our 120th year, we walk the ridge by faith, but we walk sure-footedly with Scripture as a lamp unto our feet and with Christ our Savior as the light of the world. This is the history of Whitworth University. May it ever be our future. Amen.